Cancer Souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I channel messages from creative expressions such as movies, books, and music. For this series, I'm channeling messages from Tom Cruise movie quotes. And I felt inspired to do this series because Tom Cruise just dropped a new film called Maverick, which is the sequel to the Top Gun movie in the 80s, and it is killing it at the box office right now. It's doing very well. And also, in 2019, when I had my spiritual awakening, I had a dream where my spirit guides revealed to me that Tom Cruise is, in fact, a light worker in Hollywood. So I wanted to support him with his light work and also use this as an opportunity to channel some messages to bring clarity, inspiration, and joy to you. So how the reading will work, I channeled 12 different movie quotes. I wrote them on slips of paper, and I put them in this little tin. So I will pull one out, we'll see what the quote is, and then I will do an intuitive card reading to get some additional messages for you. So let's see which Tom Cruise movie quote has a message for you, Cancer. We have, she's lost that loving feeling. And this is from the Tom Cruise film, Top Gun. And that's actually a scene within the film where Tom Cruise and his other friends that are going to the military school, they sing that karaoke style to the love interest in the film. She's lost that loving feeling. <laughs> so let's see what your cards have to say. The first deck that we're using is the Energy Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Cancer Souls? We have patience. Next, we'll pull a card from the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have the King of Wands in reverse. Next, we will pull a card from the Super Attractor deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Oop. This flew right out. We've got, I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. Your final card will come from the Keepers of Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Cancer Souls? Paul the Venetian experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Okay. <laughs> So what Spirit is showing me, Cancer, with she's lost that loving feeling. I feel like you are doing some very difficult healing in regards to something you experienced in the past with a masculine energy, regardless of gender, that represents the King of Wands in reverse. There are, what I'm seeing, past life situations coming up around a masculine energy 
that was very passionate, but also something that took place that was very hurtful. And you're doing your best to heal from this, I can see. And Spirit is saying to be patient with yourself. That's why we have patience here. But I'm seeing whenever this situation comes up, it's it's creating like a depressed, anxious, worried, fearful energy. That's why we have she's lost that loving feeling. And Spirit is bringing through a message that you can decide today to recalibrate your energy and commit to love and joy. Now, you're not choosing to feel this way. These are emotions that are coming up because the, what I'm seeing is you haven't allowed yourself to fully feel the pain from whatever situation you experience with this King of Wands in reverse. I'm seeing this was a whirlwind relationship. Um, also seeing friendships with a masculine energy. And it, it feels very painful. And I'll get some more information when I open up my clear audience. But I'm seeing that every time this comes up or you have a dream about a past life with this person or an emotion comes up or a memory, it, it kind of is igniting this feeling of losing that loving feeling. And Spirit is saying, do everything that you can to hold on to the loving feeling, all the things that set your, your soul on fire. And I'm also seeing um, why Spirit is saying to be more patient. I'm hearing things like, well, I should be over this by now. I should be healed by now. And it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Um, especially if you have had a soul contract with this person for many, many lifetimes. You're processing those emotions for many generations back. So be patient with yourself and be gentle with yourself as well. That's why Paul the Venetian is coming through with experiencing grace. Saying that it's important to have grace with yourself because this is a very difficult pattern that is being broken in this lifetime. This is a very difficult soul contract that you are breaking in this lifetime right now. And it's important to be patient and have grace with yourself because of that, because it hasn't been easy. And Spirit is also saying to keep that grace about you and do not let this person steal your joy. Do not let this person steal that loving feeling in your heart that you hold so near and dear because it. I'm seeing that this has caused like a closing off of your heart, whatever this person did and how they treated you. And the world needs you open. Your heart needs to be open, okay? And I'm also seeing with this card, share your gifts with grace. There are some spiritual gifts that have come online for you right now, but I'm seeing that you're not sharing them because you're not fully trusting in them or you're not fully believing in them, believing that what you're hearing is true, believing what you're seeing is true, believing what you're feeling is true. And Spirit is saying to share those gifts with grace. You have them for a reason. Trust in it. Believe in it. Because it's part of who you are and it's part of the light work that you came here to share with the world. Okay? I'm also hearing um, energy healing for some of you. Some of you have a gift with energy healing, embrace that as well. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So this is why Spirit is saying that you can decide today to recalibrate your energy and commit to love and joy. And when you make that decision to stay in that loving, feeling energy, even though you're still in the process of healing from this king of wands, deception, manipulation, control, hurt feelings, it's important to be patient with yourself while you're healing and know that you are so powerful that you can change your energy anytime that you want. And if it's one of those days where you don't feel like doing that, you want to feel like 
you know, sad and you want to feel those emotions, then by all means do that. But don't allow yourself to stay there. You have so much light work to share in the world. The world needs your authentic, genuine light that only you can give in the unique way that you know how, Cancer. And when you commit to that love and joy, you're going to find those waves of inspiration and love just unfold in your life in very powerful ways, okay? I'd like to open up my Claire audience and get a little more information about what's going on here. Thank you, Spirit. What else for my Cancer Souls? They keep showing me a rocket, like a rocket launching into the air. So I feel like this is a metaphor for your ascension. I feel like you are ascending at a rapid rate with the healing that you've been doing. So that's what I think the rocket is symbolizing. Can you confirm that, Spirit? Yeah, a lot of you have knowledge about space um, from previous lifetimes that's being activated right now, and that's going to serve you on your mission. And I feel there's also something about space that holds a key ingredient of your healing with this King of Wands. What is this energy, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing ricochet, and it was almost like a battle in space. Like, I, I feel like some of you are having dreams about a past life with this person, and it had to do, it took place in space, and there was something that was, like, fired, and it ricocheted off of, like, the place where you were staying in a different star system is what I'm seeing for some of you. What's important about this? What are you bringing through, Spirit? Thank you. They're saying they missed. So, okay. Okay, so, it may be hard to believe, but this King of Wands, they are a light worker as well. It may not seem like it, but they are. And Spirit wants you to understand that the difficulties that you experience, these are soul contracts that you both entered into to go through these difficult experiences to fulfill your light work here. So whatever this person did, um, that is less important than the work that you are here to do. So this is why they keep bringing this up to let it go. But they're showing me how energetically, like I only heard about this like for the first time this year, but um, apparently you can like send energy and zap people or try to um, send energy towards people. And I feel like this person has been trying to do that energetically to you, but it's like ricocheting and it's missing. They're not hitting you because you're divinely guided and protected. So this person doesn't really have 100% of the awareness of the light work they're here to do. They're still kind of <laughs> playing out the villain is what I'm seeing. Um, but they will wake up. They will wake up, okay? But... That's the thing, when you come to Schoolroom Earth, we all take on various roles here. Some of us play villains, some of us play 
the good guy. And some of us are here to play both simultaneously sometimes. But um, whoever this person is, they, they too are a light worker. They're just not aware of it yet. Um, but the more healing that you do, this pattern, it's being broken in this lifetime. So don't let this person steal your loving feeling. And I'm also seeing it's important for you to set energetic boundaries because they're like sending energetic like energy to you in like astral in the astral realm or in space and it's kind of depleting your energy so before you go to bed at night before you go and do some astral travel if that's what you're into protect your energy before you do so okay because this is the lifetime where this person can't continuously deplete you energetically. Because I'm seeing the the soul the soul cords are still very um, connected between you and whoever this is. So also doing some cord cutting would be beneficial. What other messages do you have for my Cancer souls? Thank you, Spirit. Also, getting very, very grounded. If you meditate outside for 20 minutes on the grass, that is enough to ground you. It really is. Or just walking on the grass, going for a walk in nature, getting so grounded that no one can push you over, okay? Because um, when you're grounded, you are able to be in an energy of not reacting you respond more when you're grounded people don't rattle you when you're grounded if you're being rattled by people it's an indication that you need to get more grounded and to be present um, when you're having discussions with people um, because if you're not grounded you may find that you're not in tune with what another person is saying. If you're having a conversation with them, you might find that you're looking all over and you might see that other people are doing this. That means that people are like so in their heads that they're not present with the person that is in front of them where they're trying to connect with someone, okay? If you're everywhere else but with the person you're talking with or if somebody is doing this to you, that's an indication of not being grounded, not being present in the moment and being present is your superpower cancer okay any final messages for my cancer souls thank you i'm also hearing rock and roll hall of fame i do pick up on a lot of musicians for cancers i really do and i see if you continue to be patient with what you are creating with your music or something in the music industry, I'm seeing a lot of you being in the rock and the rock and roll hall of fame. I'm seeing some of you have dreams to have that happen. And it is a possibility because you can manifest whatever you want. You just have to believe it, take action, know your what and your why, and let the universe figure out your how. That's how you let go and detach from the outcome. That's how it will manifest. So keep your sights on things that create loving feelings within you. Do not let other people steal loving feelings from you because you are such a loving, beautiful soul cancer. Be patient with yourself. Set energetic boundaries because the more you do that, the more it's going to just ricochet off of you when they're trying to harm you energetically or deplete you energetically. You can decide today to recommit to love and joy and follow that path because that will always set your soul on fire. Experience things with grace. Unleash your gifts and share them with grace. You have spiritual gifts and talents to share in the world. That is for a reason. Don't be afraid of your gifts. They are your light work. It's part of why you're here. Honor that. And don't be afraid to share it in the world. Because when you accept that, 
about yourself and you trust it 100%, that is when waves of inspiration and love come your way. So that is all that I am seeing, Cancers. Those are your messages. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm excited and honored to have done this reading for you today. If you liked any of the decks of cards I used, I'm linking those in the description box down below as well. I also do a podcast called the Slumber Party Massacre Podcast with four amazing women, my sister Lacey, Rebecca, Carly, and Heather. We talk about scary movies. We debate them. We play games. We're very real, very authentic. We don't sweep anything under the rug. If you would like to listen to that, I'm linking that in the description box down below as well. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.